Environmental Protection is proposing to build three golf courses at Jonathan Dickinson State Park. It has been wet with a lot of pushback. Both state and federal lawmakers are voicing their frustrations and concerns for the park's future. One of them, Congressman Brian Mass, who happens to be in the middle of an election. CBS 12's Victoria DeCardinus got a chance to speak to him and others about this emotion-filled issue. Congressman Brian Mast is known as a champion for preserving Florida's natural habitat. So the news of these proposed golf courses at Jonathan Dickinson State Park caught him and other lawmakers off guard. And even though the state is holding meetings and public comments next week, he says there is no legitimacy in this process. My first reaction when I heard about this was, whose idea was it? Who's been putting this forward? Who's heard about this? Who knows about this? And I immediately started making phone calls about it. Less than a day after the news broke of a proposal to add three golf courses at Jonathan Dickinson State Park in Hope Sound, Congressman Brian Mast went looking for answers. He tells CBS 12 News no one from the state or local governments knew this was happening. The source of this is it goes back to uh, what's known as Florida's Great Out outdoors initiative under Florida Department of Environmental Protection and they're looking to expand outdoor activities. So that's the source of this. That initiative states it will work to expand public access and increase outdoor activities to Florida state parks. But a golf course is not what the congressman nor state senator Gail Harrell had in mind. It's a great initiative, but we need to do it carefully, looking at each park very carefully and what are what are the assets we have in the park. I would not be for developing this wilderness. And next week, representatives from the Department of Environmental Protection will be holding meetings across the state to get feedback from locals. But in an open letter to the governor, Mass says this process is a sham because he says the representatives coming to take public comment next week are not part of the DEP's Acquisition and Restoration Council. Instead, he says the state is sending a subject matter expert in their place. If the voting members of this board are not in attendance, then it is what I said it already is. It's just box checking. It's just dog and pony. It's a slap in the face to the community. It's a middle finger to the community. So far, tens of thousands of people have expressed their outrage on these proposed plans, including on a Facebook advocacy page. We spoke with the page's creator, Jessica Natham. And as you see from the turnout here, residents will engage themselves. They're ready to come out and spend money in the parks. So many questions remain, and we're sure that those will be brought next week during the public comment. If you would like to attend, we have details on the location and time on our websites on CBS12.com. Reporting at Jonathan Dickinson State Park in Hope Sound, Victoria DeCardena, CBS 12 News. And this Sunday, horse riders and others on foot are gathering at the park to walk and ride the trails to show their support to save the park and opposition to development. The public is invited to join them at 10 a.m.